Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel for another segment of Don't Be Telling My Business. Why are you telling my business? Well, because I can, can, and I can, can, I can, can, I can, can, and I will. Alright, we got Storm back in social media again. She is so unhappy. Happy she is not. Okay, because she's fooling around with her thoughts for a cousin. Alrighty then. Now we know Portia capitalizes on bullshit. She's not a cap. Capitalist, because what a capitalist is a wealthy person who uses money to invest in trade and industry for profit in accordance with the principle of capitalism. Okay, we all know she's wealthy in bullshit, but she ain't wealthy in money because I really believe Portia is living paycheck to paycheck when it comes to Portia's family matters. And generosity of true original Bravo check style. Okay. That's why she's skirting around trying to uh, help her cousin. Because her, her cousin is out there saying foul, foul, foul. Portia, Portia, Portia. Allegedly. You're supposed to help me. You're supposed to help me bring down this man. You're supposed to help me get some money. Da -da 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 -da. Young lady. Okay. Who is a professional. I think you are trying to be a nurse. Or you are a nurse. Get into your profession and get away from this entertainment industry. If you haven't learned anything, but you should know your cousin. She brought you on her show to boost her show and get several seasons and make herself look good, feel good, and be living a good, 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 good life. She don't give a shit about you, but you should know about that. Okay? She probably don't give a F about you. She don't give a F about you. She don't give a F about you. Okay, now how is it that her other cousin, Tyreka Ford, can definitely say, Portia don't give a F about me. Why should I practice and preach and go on in her biblical Bible to follow her rules and regulations? I don't think so. And she didn't go, go on part of that show because she knew Lundy was going to be made a fool of. But, okay. She had to learn the hard way. Then she had to learn that Dennis really didn't fire her. It was Portia's, her cousin, her first cousin, who did that shit. Dennis shouldn't have listened, but he did because he loved the Uzi. So he was just going with the going with the flow. But she does Lauren wrong as well. She don't want to take responsibility when she makes Lauren feel uh, bad or whatnot. But Lauren is her sidekick. What can I say? Yes, Tick Rika Ford, that lady in that black dress, she know what she's doing. But she's called foul on Portia's mom that's Diane Portia's mom as well as Portia because they didn't come to her need when she was grieving and probably still grieving over her loss of her mother now is that shameful that's shameful guys all right and then you have to think about Simon now I know Simon being in a lot of flack this that and the third we're questioning his wealth and all that but don't let it be fooled He's a man, first and foremost, okay? He might love women. He might like to be married to a lot of them at one time, okay? And want to put them out when he get ready. But he ain't no fool. Now, if he was a fool, why did he buy the new house without Portia's name? Allegedly on it, okay? And maybe that was just a peaceful gift with that new car he uh, gifted her because her name is not on that house deed. Could you think that could be plausible? I think it's plausible. He's just trying to soften the blow. But Stormy Girl, Stormy Girl, if you don't pursue a case of litigation against Dennis McKinley yourself, you can forget about, forget about Portia Williams helping you turn in her daddy where she won't get no more money and all this, that, and the third. Now, to me, from that fight scene, you were pretty much in the back of Portia. Like, Portia was... You know, I don't know. Or maybe you would just didn't want to get things done to you. So you were hiding behind her. But the clips that I included in this visual in my video, everything seems like you were behind the scene, baby. So how you got all these different marks of this, that, and third. You see how Portia's just looking at you and looking at London and, 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 and um, making y'all make a fool of yourselves. And she didn't have to do anything because she knew y'all were going to cut up and turn up for the negative, which boosted her ratings, okay? But she just came off looking like a foul mouth child, all right? Getting into things you shouldn't have really spoken on. But she knew you were a ace in the hole to uh, start some shit with Dennis, and she was there for it. You see that in that clip? I see Dennis, but I don't see you out in front. 
you supposed to be in front of Portia. Catch them blows, you know what I'm saying? For all that artwork you show of the damages that was done to your neck and your face. But you should have been like your cousin Tarika. I don't know if y'all first cousin, second cousin, but she didn't get nowhere near the shit. She knew it was going to be foul. She knew it was going to be no play, time, and no real time. That's why you, you said you got attacked. We trying to figure it out. If it was something to that degree, wouldn't it be plausible uh, Dennis would still be in a Mexico jail right now? You see that picture? You're still behind Portia. You see what I'm saying? So what's going on, girl? What is the true tea? Did Portia promise you a big payday? And now you haven't received the residual of it. You asking Portia where your paycheck? Because it's not looking right or what she promised you. What is going on, girl? defamation of character saying somebody did something as a matter of factly and you don't have any proof don't let these two queens of the real housewives of atlanta fool you okay don't let them fool you baby if you don't have all the aces in the space laying down ready to claim a deal don't put shit out there i mean did dennis really do that to you hmm did he really do that to you hmm I'm not saying he did. I'm not saying he didn't. But if you had the full kit and caboodle, you should have went on and did what you had to do in the court of law. You didn't need Portia's permission. You didn't need Portia to back you up. If you were offended in any kind of way, because, hell, I'm pretty sure it's Tariqa Ford would have got hands put on her. She would have been uh, definitely trying to sue that person that assaulted her and probably get Portia on the back end. You see what I'm saying? That's a woman to be reckoned with. That's a woman to not be messed with. That's why she don't mess with Portia. That's why she don't mess with Diane. And she's chilling over there with Dennis and Mama Gina. Okay? Because she know where her bread and butter is baked at. And if she wants some free hot dogs anytime she feel like it, they got her. Okay? But I'm pretty sure she would pay for her own meal. But yeah, girl. Your cousin Portia is trying to be a lookalike. She's trying to act like this young woman and probably other women as well that she deemed is a threat. Okay, so, so sorry, Portia can't be within her own skin and like who she is. That she has to wear a mask all the time and show people different personas of her egos. But right now, your cousin is only worried about herself, herself, herself. She's only worried about her book deal. She's only worried about maybe possibly getting back on with Bravo. Maybe in the form of another show, which I can't see it. But hey, stranger things have happened, right? And she might want to get back on the Real House of Wilds of Atlanta. But none of that has your name on it, baby. These are her staples. These are her uh, houses she called herself being a part of and helped build. And like she says, ain't no shame in her game. She ain't okay. She's going to get her money either way, however it comes, whenever it comes. And she's the opportunist. And she loves it. Okay? That's why I say she don't get too far with Simon. They may go through the rigmarole of maybe putting out a wedding special for her. But in my eyes, my my mind of thinking, he ain't going nowhere with her unless she's out a prenup. Meaning whatever she came with, that's what she get. And she's going to leave with Anything else she not getting. Okay. So if you're barking up the wrong tree. Which I think you are. You need to switch it. Now this is what I would do. Okay. I don't like to call it blackmail. But it just is what it is. When you're dealing with an itch like Portia. P. Willie. You got to hit it where it hurts. And she don't too much deal in emotion. So you got to hit her in that purse. That pocketbook. That bank account. Okay, baby. Why don't you tell Portia. Why don't you basically give her an ultimatum and a deadline? You are willing to hold on what you have to hold on to as long as you're getting paid a certain amount around a certain time and being deposited it in your account. Priceless. Okay? Priceless. Or you would come out, make your own YouTube channel, or just get on your uh, Instagram account and go let hell. Tell all of Portia's business. Because you know people like me. I'm nosy. And other bloggers are nosy as well. They will probably pay you. I won't. Because I just don't feel like interviewing nobody. About somebody else's dirt and anything. Since they told me I got to pay them. I'm not that kind of person. I don't try to be going finding out stuff. Researching. Because it's not really none of my business. I just like I'm picking up a magazine. Or I'm scrolling through my phone. I'm like damn that sounds interesting. Ooh, let me see. Let me cite my source and let me give my opinion. And have my family. My YouTube come and talk to me about it either. Because all of over here. It's just conversation. Good 
good conversation. Sometimes it turns for the bad. We get arguing sometimes about this, that, and the third. But we don't know these people. We just sh- these people are just showing us what they wanted to show us, and we just have a comment on it, whether we like it, love it, or gotta have more. It just is what it is. But honey, that's what I would think you would do. I would go and sing like a canary. I would howl like a wolf and a howling dog that's been struck. <laughs> I would just have one day after the other spilling tea on Portia, what the family had said about Portia, what the family had said about Portia and her new boyfriend that's supposed to be a billionaire. I would tell about Fallon if I knew anything, girl, I'd be a pot whistling on the stove or a tea kettle whistling on the stove ready to be picked up. Okay, I would hit every social media outlet, <coughs> radio personality, girl, I would just be singing and I can't even hold a tune, honey, I'd be, let me tell you about Portia Williams, yes, honey, that's how I would be, she wouldn't be able to stop me, because I would be getting paid, and it would be on, a, in my opinion, I would be allegedly everything if I couldn't find solid proof to say, uh-uh, I got receipts. Look at here on this here date. This is what happened. Man, I be telling about her house that she had other than what she was saying in her book. I would even go by the book and I be saying, okay, when she said this, that, and this, what the family had came to uh, realize, she forgot to put this, this, this in it. So it's like she got the cake, but I'm going to give you the ice cream, okay, and the sauce to put on the ice cream. So it'll be one big happy dish to be diving into okay we might get sick or too much given to us but we love it we like it and we got to have more girl i be just sitting i'm like okay you want to play me you don't want to cut me my check you don't want to cut me my check correctly or what i did because you asked me to do it allegedly on this mckenna up in mexico okay you you want to play that game okay cool foul okay you foul but i'm finna get foul i'm finna sing like a person trying to get out of jail or trying to get uh, a lesser sentence for a fence, a criminal offense that they did on somebody. I'm finna tell it all. I'm finna shout it from the rooftops. I'm finna tell it all. I'm finna tell my pastor. I'm finna tell it all. Girl, that's what I would be doing. I would be telling it all. And she'll be calling me nonstop trying to say, What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't you know this? I'm like, Girl, I forewarned you. I am not to be toyed with, and I am not to be played with. When you told me I was getting on this show because you wanted me to be on this show, you know I had dirt on Dennis because, hell, I do him before you knew him. All right, I told you what was going on, but you didn't want to help me. You ha- you know, you sitting up there, down here and call me this, that, and the third, and, yeah, you, you took up for a little here and there, and, yes, you took up when Lundy was trying to get a little bit more pressing when we were fussing at the table you were taking up a, but that ain't gonna be good enough i like greens i like the backs i need to be taken care of just like you want to be taken care of by your men i want to be taken care of by you because you promised me a dream that the boat went out in the ocean and it was holes poked on the bottom and i sunk to the bottom i know uh uh-uh. no we can't go like that this ain't ad flag this ain't our plaque, the little duck. No, I ain't got no security blanket over him. So you're going to be my security blanket until I feel like I have been justified. Okay? So I am going to sing all of your misdeeds from the time you were born and I knew you. And I, I might have to get some of the information from my other older cousins that was around you like to record. We might hook up and just go on a tell-all spree from state to state, from city to city, from global, international. Anybody want to hear anything about my cousin, Portia Williams? I'm finna tell it all. I just can't tell it all. I can't tell it all. But I'm gonna try my best for the right price. Oh, yes. Girl, I was like, mm mm. Play it. She played, you play her now, honey. And that would be calling the kettle black. Okay? That's what I would do, girl. That's what I would do. If I was in your shoes and I was being vengeful and vindictive, vindictive, and I felt like you owe me. All right? And I'm talking about not uh, being on a show or anything like that. 
because I know your word ain't good as nothing. And because you can't, you you gonna be fine trying to find jobs right now since you lost all your jobs or gave them away like a little idiot and you sitting up there wanting to depend on a man to um. Uh, be your supplement income and that you come and go like you even know what a three hundred thousand dollar car is or a million dollar house to live in hell you just materialistic and that shit ain't gonna uh, keep you you're gonna be one something better than that you already got the Taj Mahal with hell you're gonna say I want the world you know what I'm saying like what you would never be satisfied so I'm out with getting what it gets good all right but that's my advice to uh Storm just settle down you ain't got to do no lawsuits. Just go on a tell I hell write a book. Portia wrote one. And you see, it ain't number $13 now. So maybe your book will be a little bit more inspirational as well as a tell-all of the lives of Portia Williams and her family members that enable her, girl. Now that would be a bestseller. I would pay the full price to see that if you would be telling the truth. Because, you know, you could get sued. So hopefully everything that's in there, a uh, book that you might be wanting to put out. Which be, would be a showstopper. Because I ain't never heard nobody going against their family and just telling the truth out on them and making tools about it, girl. But Portia told her truth, so you tell your truth, honey. And let the cookies fall away they may. Because it seems like y'all family is pretty much in the I want to be known, I want the celebrity type life, and I need that money. Okay, and that's all on Diane's side. They ain't got nothing to do with the marriage side from Diane's husband's side. They got to do everything with Diane. So, girl, that would be my play. My that would be my playbook for you. At least you gonna get paid up front, and not what Portia was trying to do. Don't she ain't got no shame in her game. Yeah, cause she moralist. She has no values, and she degrades herself at any given time to get what she wants. And that's Almighty Dollar. That's what she wants. Okay, and that's what she needs to feed herself. Her image. Her egotistical ways, okay. So, baby, don't don't fool around with Dennis. Go straight ahead for the catalyst, the shit starter, the motivator, the instigator, okay. Portia Williams, go for her. Cut the head off the stake. Bury her. Do what you gotta do until you feel good about yourself. Okay, I'm just saying I wouldn't be doing that because if you really did get done that way and you didn't do nothing, you felt lesser than yourself, you know, because you don't think about anybody else. You think about yourself when it comes to assault and all of that. You get yourself right back physically as well as mentally. And then you have to go after the offender, okay, the persecutor, the person that assaulted you. Then you go and you don't you don't worry about who he related to, what kind of a position he's in. You should have been handled that situation. But like I said, don't know if you were scared or you just looking out for your cousin Portia and how it would make her look and her family look. I don't know what was going through your mind at the particular time when all this stuff happened. All right. But sometimes in certain situations you gotta do what's best for you. I personally wouldn't have been on that show and I personally would have been telling Portia about it. And I would have been telling the uh, law, the law officials, the popo, okay, if it was something indeed that happened. Now, if you wanted to sweep it on the rug in time of what they call it, uh, the statutory time, or I forget the technical term, but if it's lapsed, then you can't do anything about it. Just pray about it and move on, okay. But other than that, if uh, like I said, tell why to tell our book about Portia. Portia got you into this shit. She sold you a pipe dream, thinking you're gonna be prob- probably seen uh, as a beautiful person, and maybe you can get on some more reality shows or this, that, and the third. But if you play yourself right, you get with the right PR person that wanna um, put you on management with them. Shit, girl, you can make some money off your, your cousin Portia while she going around here making money off y'all and making y'all look stupid. It's time to turn the tables, honey, and make her look stupid. And then I think it'll, it'll be it, it'll be okay then. Everybody be done got themselves uh, taken care of. Everybody feel good about the foolishness they done did. Everybody go seek therapy. Don't go to the same therapist. Go to different therapists. And <laughs> but if you want to be in the entertainment business, it seems like 
You got to play dirty to win. That's why I ain't trying to be in the entertainment business. I just do what I do on a lower scale and enjoy my company of, of family members that like to talk, like to discuss, like to dialogue, and just talk shit pretty much. But that's as far as it's going. <laughs> that's as far as it's going, honey. Everything is hypothetical over here. Everything is allegedly, and everything is in the house, okay? We talking amongst family members, all right? We having complete discussions or have discussions on topic subjects we like to do. We like to talk about, okay? But that's all I got for this video, guys. Like and love, guys. Have more. But don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my videos, okay? And make sure you put those comments down because y'all know I love dialoguing with you all. Honey, but that would have been Tyreek for the girl that we, the picture show beautiful woman wouldn't that have been something see Porsche probably didn't really want her in there either because they would have been looking at her beauty you know what I'm saying and, and, and the beauty can't take away from Portia you know she got everything on her and it's her show too so she ain't really want no pretty pretty people in there unless she was playing them like a, a violin a trumpet or a piano okay but don't think don't count Simon out now he'll take her so far and then he will get get rid of her and dismiss her and send her on her way because evidently he don't care about how many wives he go through how many kids he have. He don't care about that. But he care about securing his money. He ain't going to let Portia run all over him. Now Portia don't want to be a caregiver. And a loving dutiful wife in his eyes. And I mean a caregiver for him. Not necessarily kids. Okay. <laughs> and Portia going to have another thing coming. She's going to out there. She's going to be out there again. Look for Mr. Right. When she's going to end up with Mr. Wrong. Because she has a bad heart. Okay. She has a bad attitude. She has a bad look on life. Instead of her building up her own empire, working hard. Like, damn, you would think if she couldn't look at her mom and get inspiration. Look at Oprah. All right? That should be her statement. Person of a woman who did it. Not by herself. She had help. But she grind. She grind until she took time to say, I don't want to do this no more. I want to do something on a lower scale and I want to grow food. I want to give me a farm and just grow apples, oranges, collard greens, and this, that, and the third. I want to get out my blood pressure medicine. She was on it, allegedly. <laughs> you know, I want to live a simple life, but still have wealth if I want to go to Timbuktu. You know what I'm saying? So that's what Portia um, aspires to be. But she want a man to put her in that situation instead of her doing it for herself. Okay? Sisters are doing it for themselves. Hey, y'all remember Aretha Franklin? I forgot the uh, lady name. But y'all know what I'm talking about. She was real uh, white, tall, skinny, punk rock looking lady. I can't remember her name. Maybe somebody can drop it in the comments. But if you Google it, sisters are doing it for themselves. Girl, that was a, it wasn't a pro brag. Uh, style of unification. It was just women being unified. You know what I'm saying? And see, that's what Portia needs. She needs to be unified on one accord. Get her own coin. Get her own money. So she don't have to ask, beg, borrow, steal from no man. And then they know if they're going to approach her, they got to come with what she got a better. You see what I'm saying? And that's a boss. That's a boss move. But Portia don't want to work that hard. She want to live off a man. She want a man to take care of her. And when she go left, go south, she got to bounce. So what, kind of, what kind of person is is that so Simon has a lot to think about we can't put it all on Portia that she gonna uh, you know leave him or she gonna dog him or she gonna cheat with somebody behind his back mm -mm, cause he might be doing the same damn thing but doing it better I'm just saying okay cause she couldn't control Dennis mm -mm. Dennis no mm -mm. nope nope can't do it can't do it dog my mama taught me better I got what I got before you. I will got. I will still have with you, and I will have it after you. But if you don't sign this prenup, we can't do it. We can't do it. We can't be together. No, we can't. Now I'm gonna take care of my child. Cause that's mine. That half of mine. That's half of my sperm that made your egg expand to make that baby. Okay. Yes, that's half of mine. And whatever I give her, I give her. All right. But it ain't got nothing for you to be telling me what to give her. Or you picking a school and you didn't uh, run it past me. Or, you know, anything that's, de that's involved in her development to become a good citizen of society. You know what I'm saying? 
So I'm like, Dennis, honey, take Tariq forward. Go and get them papers. Let Portia be a uh, half-time mom, part-time mom, so she can figure things out. Because right now, we need PJ to be on one accord, living a happy, fun-filled life, and not being shuffled from back and forth from one discord to the next discord. Okay, we need stability. But that's all I got for this video, guys. I can go on and on and on. But I don't beat it like a dead horse because we know what we're dealing with. Some people were smart enough to, you know, um, get a, a fourth out of what Portia really was, li was like. Because I tell you, I, it was just so many people on Real Housewives of Atlanta that I was trying to get all the attitudes and their demeanors and characteristics and stuff. It kind of flew by me. Because I just saw Portia as a fun field, loving young woman trying to make it navigate it through the whole system of Bravo's uh empire as well as the entertainment business so i was giving her little bits and pieces here but when she slung can you down to that flow i saw a salt charge and i just knew she was gonna be gone for the show but bravo would not let you sue them okay this is something that is in their clauses and i'm for real about that um i did a video back looking at archives or whatever with other do's and don'ts you can can do can't do while working for bravo um tv productions or whatever and uh yeah they can't sue no they they try to go on and pay some extra money make that person who caused the infringement or you do something or whatever but you can't sue so but you can get your cousin girl um stormy storm you can get your cousin don't worry about dennis okay don't worry about him get your cousin because she the one started this shit okay she wasn't started at all and and promised you a pipe dream that didn't uh come to fruition girl I hate to say it like that, but I hate for you to go up against Dennis when he got a lot of shit on all y'all, okay? And you lose miserably. Because like I said, when the claim was being presented and the evidence was fresh, you should have went on then and there, girl. You should have went on then and there. But if the statute, uh, statute of limitation has passed and gone, get your cousin, girl. Get your cousin, girl. Get your cousin, get your cousin, get your cousin, girl. Because she sure got all of you. All y'all looking stupid on that Portia Family Matters project. Okay. Woo. And that's all I got, people. See y'all next video. Bye.